signs you have a soul tie. 10 signs you have a soul tie. I'm going to go through them quickly but effectively. Number one sign, now number one, but one of the signs or the first sign I have of a soul tie to a personal thing that you have a soul tie, your mood is affected when they are around or not around. You know you are soul tied to a person when your mood changes. You see what I'm saying? You you you, uh, you don't want to be a temperature. You don't want to be temperature. You want to be a thermostat. You see what I'm saying? A thermometer. You don't want to be a thermostat. Or th you want to be a thermometer. What I mean is you should have such a God in you that you change the environment wherever you go. But the environment doesn't affect you. So your ex can walk in or not. But because you've been in what's next, since your mind is what's on next, even if your ex comes in your pretext or your context, then they won't, it won't affect what you're striving for next. You see what I'm saying? Because you know who you are in Christ. You have over. You have overcome it. But you know you still have a tie to a person, whether weak, mild, or strong, based upon your mood being drastically affected when they are around or not around. So when they come, you 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 uh, your mood is too high. When they go, your mood is too low. When you look them, look at them online, no matter what they're doing, your mood is affected drastically. Where your emotions go through two, two either two opposite extremes. Either your heart goes super excited because you 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 got a crush on them or super low because they crushed you in that breakup. Number two sign that you have a soul tie, you stalk them or it online. You know you have a soul tie um to a person when you stalk them online. You on their page a hundred times a day. You see what I'm saying? You stalk them online. You win their stories from another page. You created a whole another page and you got no, you got a you got the a silhouette of a girl. And, and your name is uh, Kelsey Mundo. You see what I'm saying? You created a whole other name, whole other page. You as a gentleman, a dude, you created a whole name, a whole other page to stalk them. Or when I say it, you could be stalking a way of life, um, the lifestyle of rich and famous, stalking the life of, of those in your career, stalking a place. You can be overly soul tied to the beach because you go to the beach to escape the problems you should be addressing no matter where you are. You could be in the mountains. You better address those problems. You can be in the Piedmont area. You better address them problems. But don't but don't uh, stalk a place as your sanctuary when you got the presence of God. See what I'm saying? You stalk them or it or you stalk uh, items, products, perspectives, ways of thinking, etc. You know you have a soul tie when you stalk it. You 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 even you can stalk even the things of God. What I mean by that, I just want to understand so much about apologetics so I can defeat these Muslims, so I can defeat these people in apologetics. So you stalk it. I want to stalk the new newest trend of apologetics so that I can, can defeat everybody who don't believe what I believe. You soul tied to the belief. You soul tied to the belief improperly. Sign you have a soul tie. Number three, their present or potential reactions affect your actions. Oh, I'm sorry. Their present or potential reactions affect your actions. Uh, what would my mom say about this? God done told you what to do. God told you what you should be doing. But but uh, I don't know if I should act because uh, what would my mama say? What would my daddy say? How would they react? Who cares how to react? Do they got a hell to put you in? Are they the ones that wake you up every day? No. So you can't get caught up because I rather, I don't care what my mama, what my daddy, whoever has for me, I lose it for God. I don't care if you cut off Thanksgiving. I don't care if I can't get another pot of, a pan of dressing from you. I don't care if you up and leave me. I do not care. As far as me and my house, we're going to say the Lord. So it, it doesn't matter what your mama and your friends or your husband or wife cuts off from you because you want to obey God. Cut it off. I don't care. So you got to get to a place where you are not you're not imprisoned by somebody's current reactions or potential reactions. I know God, I know I feel led to do this, but my dad may have something to say, so I'm not going to do it to keep peace. Do you know how many people got degrees because of what their mom and daddy want to do, and now they're burdened by a field that they can't even fulfill? At least go after a field that has holes for you to fill. That's your field of study. That's your field of ministry. That's your field of purpose. There's a field out there full of holes for your soul to fill it with purpose. Woo. Holy Spirit, you are preaching. Their present or potential reactions affect your action. Do not let somebody's how they're going to react. You do it. Because I'd rather God... I'd rather get God's proper reaction and everybody else's improper reaction than disappoint God, but make everybody else feel good. I hate to think 
Signs you have a soul tie. Number four, they're constantly on your mind. You can't stop thinking about them. You wake up thinking about them. You warm up your food at lunch thinking about them. You think about them on your break. You think about them everywhere you go. You're so tied to them. Signs you have a soul tie number five. You have a hard time making decisions independently of their input. You have a hard time making decisions. I, I, I got to call my mom. So what I'm saying is we have been conditioned to call everybody else instead of calling the one that called us. The one that called us out from among them to be separate. The one that's called us for such a time as this. The one that's called us for a purpose. We rather call mama. What you think about this, mama? Daddy, what you think about? No, 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 no. We got to we gotta recondition ourselves, reprogram ourselves to learn how to seek the Holy Spirit first. Because, because, because when we seek him first, he understands down to the nitty gritty of the nuance of whatever it is that you need. Your mama can only come from her experience. Now, these people can help. He'll surround you with counsel. But you, but you, but before you consult the counsel that's around you, consult the counsel that's inside of you. Signs you have a soul tie. Number six, you crave their body intimately and think about them sexually, even while being married to someone else. Either you're single or you're married to somebody else. You know you still soul tied to a person or a thing, whether it's pornography, when you crave their body, you crave that porn star, you crave that person that you were sexually uh, 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 sexual with, or you crave their body. You never, that person never saw you a day in your life, but you want their body. You crave their body intimately and think about them sexually, even while being married to someone else. You can be married. You, you, you got to make sure the Holy Spirit fill your mind and your, your imagination. Your imagination is a gift. That's where God, when your imagination is in the climate of God's of creativity, that's where ideas are festered. That's where ideas are birthed. But when your imagination is consumed and empowered and pipes connected to it by this world system feeding it, then you start creating these imaginations. And in the day that your husband makes you mad, the day that your wife makes you mad, all of a sudden now you're like, man, I wish I had them in bed with me. Signs you have a soul tied. Number seven, you stay with them even though the relationship is unhealthy. All the red flags are there. I'm glad. I'm glad God's giving y'all milk. None of this milk that's out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad God giving y'all milk. None of that cupcake <clears throat> stuff they got out there. <clears throat> You stay with them even though you stay with them even though the relationship is unhealthy. You know it's unhealthy because you're sick. See, be very careful that you don't allow yourself to become sick of being lonely because you're going to be sick with somebody. You see what I'm saying? When you're sick of being lonely, then you'll settle with someone else who is sick and then you'll be sick with them. And you will be, it'll be hard for you to seek help from them because you're so tied to them. Because you sick, because I'd rather be with someone than to deal with loneliness. But the devil is trying to get you not to, to think about that you were never alone in the first place. It's better to be alone with God and joy than to be with somebody and look good on the gram, but be sick offline. Signs you have a soul tie, you stay with them even though the relationship is unhealthy. You are sick, but that's you sick with them because you are sick of being alone. Number eight, sign you have an unhealthy <clears throat> soul tie. That's what I should have put, unhealthy versus healthy soul ties. That's another thing in my book that I talk about, the difference between healthy and unhealthy soul ties from this book right here, The Purpose of Freedom, How to Untie Soul Ties, Every Stronghold. Uh, <clears throat> signs you have an unhealthy soul tie. Eight, you do things to try and affect their souls negatively or attract their souls back to you positively. You know you have a strong, soul, an unhealthy soul tie when you do things, you do things online to try to get a reaction from them, because now you feel like uh, you, 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 you <clears throat> now you feel a bond to Oh, she still likes me. Oh, he still likes me. Or you do things to try to attract them selfishly back to you positively. You do things to try to affect their souls negatively. Because I'm attached to them, I'm going to try to make her mad. <clears throat> That's why you need God for you to release that, ex, that that your baby's father, your baby's mama. That's why you need God to release you from those ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends, so that you'll be freed from their negative action because they know that their souls to connect to you when they see you in their stories. They scroll and there you go, peeking. Oh, you having fun without me? Okay, come to my story then. I'm like, oh, you're not gonna come to my story? I know you ain't mute my page, so I'm gonna post this picture. Me with Tyrone, we happy. 
Me with Tiffany, we happy. And you're not even, that person is getting not even half of you. They only getting a third of you because 75% of you are you still with the other person. That's why you can't be getting in relationship with people that's overly eager with you because they're trying to get with you quick enough to make you, to use you to make another person feel bad. So you got to be like, yo, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to be the third wheel of y'all's crazy house. You see what I'm saying? But that's how you know you're still soul tied. I'm doing things to try to get a reaction out of you. But when you have allowed the active work of God's word, whose, whose word is sharp and active like a two-edged sword, to pierce into the soul to clean you out and do surgery, they will be the only ones looking stupid online. Not you. Let's keep going. Signs you have an unhealthy soul tie. Number nine, your soul craves them more or, oh, your soul craves them or it more than God. I <laughs> know God, that Holy Spirit got a great sense of humor through me. Your soul craves them or it more than God. Your soul craves that person. I just want to be married to him. I just want her. I want to be like her. I want to be like them. I want to be sensitive like her. Or I crave this way of life more than I crave the life of godliness. I crave all of this. You soul tied to that idea. You can soul tied to that individual. You soul tied to that particular item. Signs you have an unhealthy soul tie. Number 10, you choose not to forgive them or yourself. You know you have an unhealthy soul tie when you just choose not to forgive. You want to stay connected to them. For unforgiveness is a selfish way for people to stay connected so they can allow themselves to be the vengeance to make them feel bad for what they did to them. So you got to let that person go. Forgiveness is not about letting them go forward because what's going to hurt you even more is seeing you still held back and they going forward. That hurts worse than both of y'all fighting in y'all little uh, crazy house. The worst thing is you held back and they going forward. So the goal should be, I'm going to forgive so that I can go forward. Forgiveness is two words, for and give. For, forward. Forgiveness is giving me the opportunity to go forward. I don't got time to hold on to you. Whether, whether Listen, let God be your closure. Stop waiting for closure. Let the closed door be your closure. Let the fact they left be the clue that that's the closure that you need. The clues was always there. The closure is in the clues. The closure is what's clearly seen. They left you. They don't want you no more. That's the closure you need. And, and you will be looking for closure because you don't got enough validation in yourself to see your value. And your validation is in why they left. So you're curious about why they left. You on his page, her page, seeing who they who they left you for to see who looks better. Oh, she ain't that cute. Oh, God forbid if she killed it in you. God forbid if she if she's an Instagram uh uh, uh um uh Instagram fitness person. God forbid if he got a Bentley and driving around that Bentley coupe. God forbid. Now you really messed up. Oh, her body better than mine. Oh, his car bigger than mine. Oh, I wonder if she making how he making her feel at night. How she, you got to forgive to get off of that so that you can go forward in your purpose and let God be your closure. God be like, I'm the one that closed that door. But God, why? Go down the hall, baby girl. I got a door open for you down there. See, stop pouting at the closed door. Stop looking at, well, some of us been looking at that door that's been closed for years. Will they ever come back to open this door again? And God's like, bruh, a closed door means if you go down the hallway, I got a door open for you. Stop sitting at the door. That, 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 that person slammed it in your face. Boom. So rejection is for your projection. Rejection is for your protection. Who cares who leaves you? Who goes? They wasn't meant to go to the next chapter of your life. Signs you have an unhealthy soul tie. Your mood is affected when they are around or not around. You stalk them or it online. Number three, your pre their present or potential reactions affect your reactions. Signs of a healthy on soul tide, they are constantly on your mind. Number five, you have a hard time making decisions independently of them. Number six, you crave their body intimately and think about them sexually, even while being married to someone else. Number seven, you stay with them even though the relationship is unhealthy. Number eight, you do things to try to affect their souls negatively or attract their souls back positively. So that guy only coming around you, he changed. He said he went to church. Oh, now he calling. He's saying he's a Christian now. Oh, now he's calling, talking about because Corona here. Corona, everybody a Christian now. The Bible shelves are empty. Everybody a Christian now because Corona up in here. And so don't, don't listen, ladies, gentlemen, don't, don't welcome them back because Corona here. 
They're looking for a peaceful place to be quarantined because the sugar daddy, the sugar mama, the man they was with, the girl they was with, house is janky. And baby girl, you kept your house clean. Young man, you kept your house clean. So they're like, oh, shoot, we about to be on lockdown. The girl I left her for, I left you as an 80%, but so this girl is a 20% and her wash rag ain't been wet in weeks. She got hair all over her soap. The bathroom is unclean. The man got pizza boxes everywhere. And he, she's like, man, I want to go back to the place where at least the carpet's clean. At least the, the dishes are clean. At at least he takes showers. At least he's at least he cleans in between his legs. Come on, man. Watch out for those people because you keep your house clean. They want to have a place. Oh, they just waiting for Trump to say something online. Oh, nobody clean the house now. Yes. No, no, no. Keep that door closed. Signs you have an unhealthy soul tie. Your soul craves them or it more than God. Number 10, you choose not to forgive them or yourself. Now, what you guys all been waiting for. How to untie these soul ties. The book goes in greater detail. I will only be able to elaborate on this mostly probably uh, for maximum eight minutes. But my book goes in great detail. Some of these points are probably fresh because of the acronym that I use. Um, but but hear me and, and make sure that you go to my website and download uh, the worksheet that will help you really process um, those things. Let's keep going. How to untie soul ties. 